Huh. I didn't realize you could adjust the computer's difficulty mid-game. Anyways, I gotta drink a water, so hopefully... M let me just say, do not ever eat mac and cheese before recording a video, because it will do wonders to your voice! But yeah, welcome back to Mario Party. Let's, uh... I'm in the lead so far. And this could be good, actually, if I end up near the star. Take near the star? Hey, I'm, I'm closer. I'm closer. I'm closer. The spot I'm on right now, actually, is another really good spot to put hexes on, by the way. As you've seen, actually, I put a hex there and someone landed on it, so... Boogie Beam! This is actually a pretty cool one. I need to get my stylus back up because I put it away in between recordings. Anyway, um, basically, there's going to be two poses on the bottom screen. You pick one of them. Or, well, it, um, basically, if the spotlight's on you, pick the left one. If the spotlight is off you, pick the right one. And basically, if you hit them all right, you win. It's as simple as that. So, um, the spotlight pattern, it, it basically just, if you're in the light, the left one. If you're not, the right one. Simple as that. So this would be a right one, and this would be a left one. So, that's basically how it works. And then everyone just dances! It's dancing! So, we're not in the spotlight. And then I'm not in the spotlight. And, I, I'm sorry, I'm just focusing. Focusing! Spotlight! Not spotlight. As you can see, they'll have many, they'll have some in succession a lot. So, uh, expect multiple in a row like that. Spotlight. I, I really want to win this one. I really want to win this one. Just get some momentum in this first part of the thing. Spotlight. Spotlight. And I got a perfect. Look at that. Ten wins. So even the expert computers make mistakes on this one, which is why it's actually pr a pretty easy one to wait, in my opinion, on expert. See, like I said, for expert computers, it really comes down to minigames, because Wiggler's Garden, I got a lot of minigames I'm bad at, and on this one, I'm getting a lot of minigames I'm good at. So... That's just sort of how it works. Now, thanks to the Hammer Bro thing, I might be able to get to this star before Yoshi does. It depends on Yoshi's roll. If he gets a 7 or higher, he gets it. The odds are in my favor, but not by much. So, this could go either way. If I can get the star, I will be I'll have a 2-star lead on Yoshi, which will be excellent. And a, I'll, that's going to pretty much give me the game, I think, at that point. So, so far, things are working out pretty well. And look at that, Yoshi only gets a 1. He sets off his own hex, which means he's going to get more coins. But unless I get a really low number next turn, I pretty much have this... I, actually, I shouldn't... I pretty much have the star right now. That's right. So, unless I get a low number right now. So, three or higher. Boom! Got it. So, hey, we get to play the game again. I think I... Th no, no, do we? Actually, I don't think we do. I think we passed it. Oh, well. So, um, well, obviously I want the star. It's a very costly star. But it is, is a star nonetheless. I will pay 30 coins for a star any day. Especially because once you pay 30 coins, the next one's 5 anyway. So even if you have 5 coins left over, you're still good to go for the next star. And look at that! I'm closest to that one as well. This could just, like, you, sometimes in Mario Party, you just get into this rhythm where, like, you're just in the... You're just good to go. Because, like, you're ahead of all the other computers, and they can't really... They don't really have any way of catching up to you. So, at this point, I'm actually uh, in a good... I'm actually in a pretty good spot here. Because, basically, I can get star after star after star, and they're going to be playing catch-up the whole time, trying to catch up to me in terms of where we are on the board. So, this could work out pretty well. Anyway, this one, Airbrushers, is a new one. It's one of those ones where it's just about getting the most, as many coins as possible. Basically, you just flap your wings, and obviously, the more you flap together, the higher you go. And then you can also, you know, get the, This one's actually a pretty easy one to get max coins on, so, um... I like this game. It's fun. You just flap around collecting coins. It's pretty cool. Although I'm pretty sure this is not how flying. This is not how flying would work. Okay, those double coins are really hard to get, though. That's the thing. Okay, so this one up there. You can kind of use the background there to see where the coins are going to be. It's really hard to get two of those coins in a row. That, th those are the only ones that are really hard to get. So basically, yeah, the computers have trouble getting those double ones too. You're pretty much guaranteed every time for all four players to get 24 coins. It's basically just a giant coin steroid where everyone's just going to gain tons of coins. Which, given that I was the lowest, benefits me the most. So, in the end, you know, that works for me. So right now, I think I have the, the, the lead in the minigame stars. And I obviously have the lead in stars here. Things are looking good for this board. Things were not looking good for the board at the beginning. The beginning looked bad. It, it looked pretty bad for me. But um, unless Yoshi pulls out another hacks, which is, it's certainly possible that hacks could happen. There is a star block on the field um, in the lower right corner, which granted no one's probably going to get the one in the lower right corner, but it's still there. So 
I still have to be careful. Like, yeah, 10 here. I might be able to get the start of this turn. Um, I'm going to place the coin swap hex, but I'm going to place it somewhere where it's just out of the way. In fact, you know what? I'm going to just get rid of this hex right here. I think that was the one star one. That might have been that might have been the other one that was the one star one. But uh, I just want to get rid of it. I don't want to deal with any of that. And unfortunately, I'm going to set up my own one star hex, which wastes it. I'm not going to get a star from that one. But it happens. Okay, so battle minigame. Let's get the new one. Can we get the new one this time? 26 coins each? Well, all those coins we just won in airbrush, those are now in the pot. This is going to be a massive minigame. Globe Gunners, Globe Gunners, Globe Gunners. Nope, it's chips and dips again. Oh, but this is bad. It's a luck-based minigame. All those coins, and it's going to be based on luck. Oh, boy. Well, we've seen how this game works before. You pick a thing, and you hope it's a good thing. Pretty much simple as that. So, I feel this one. Hopefully it's going to be the five. I want to take an early lead here. Okay, two. That's good, because I don't want him getting anything. Four. She might have the lead on that one. Yoshi's going to have the five. Oh, that seems like... Hopefully it's the three. If it's the one, I'm really far behind. Uh, well, this isn't good. I'm going to really need to get the ten here. All right, I need this ten. I need this ten. Uh, you... Okay, you got the one. Well, that doesn't really help me much, because he wasn't in the lead anyway. I really need this 10. Yoshi, do not have the 10, Yoshi. Okay, if this is the 10, come on, be the 10, be the 10, be the 10, be the 10. Okay, it's not the 10, but that still gets me in a spot where I can come back, at least. It all comes down to this one. If I can get the 10 or the 5, I'll be okay. So, I'm feeling this one. I don't know. I don't know. This could go either way. Well, Luigi is pretty much out of it. Daisy, okay, that's good. That's good. Yoshi gets a okay, he gets the five. I need to get the ten, or I lose. What's it gonna be? Now I'm sad. <laughs> that was horrible. I lost. Oh well, can't win all the games, especially if it's a luck-based mini game. Not much you can do about that. So unfortunately, I lose half my coins. And Yoshi gains a turn. I, I, I lose 26 coins, and Yoshi gains 67 coins, which is horrible because now he's has a giant coin stash. Him and Waligi have obscene amounts of coins, which, by the way, though, could work out interestingly when it comes to the dual mini games because I could earn a lot of coins from that then, and that's gonna be happening in two turns. So this could be interesting. This could certainly, certainly be interesting. Also, he got a star pipe. Shit. Oh, but wait, but wait, but wait. I don't care because I just got his star. Oh, yeah. I wasted one of them, but the other one hit its mark. And that right there is a free star for me. And now I have a three star lead. This game, expert computers, you know, they're tough, but... Good strategy will always transfer computers. I'm pretty good at this game, I like to think. Probably just jinxed myself, but that's okay. I mean, the dual mini games are still here, though. I have to be careful because one, if I get a two-star mini game, a two-star one, and it's to get the lead out, things could be bad for me. So I do still have to be careful. Yoshi is gonna teleport next to the star and also get a star pipe. So basically, if I don't get the star on this turn then basically it doesn't really matter because um, they're going to get the star, obviously. So, so I'm trying to think, like, if I can get down to the item shop in two turns, I could do something interesting. So let's see what this roll is going to be. It's just going to be a small roll, actually. So if I get a low enough roll next turn, I might be able to show off something pretty cool. That would actually be pretty interesting. So... Maybe that'll happen, we'll see. All geared up. Oh, this one, this one's really fun. Okay, cool. So um, basically, you climb the gears and the platforms to reach the top. It's basically just a platformer sort of mini game. Pretty simple. Um, although you have to do all these rotating gears and stuff. So uh, if you get stuck near someone, you'll waste time. So you want to kind of avoid the other players while you're climbing because you're all climbing on the same board this time. So basically, as you can see, pretty complicated platforming. So let's just get right to it and get ahead. Get out of the Damn it, Daisy! 
Daisy, why did they ruin everything? Why did they ruin everything, Daisy? She ruined everything, but actually I can take a lead here, so that's good. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Taking the lead, taking the lead. Just need to get this one right here, come on. Okay, get up on here, up on here, up on here, and up on here. Boom! Screw you, Daisy, you're in last place. Nobody likes you. Yeah, I'm pretty good at platformers, what can I say? Lots of uh, experience of that. I did Yoshi's Island DS, for goodness sake, I can do this. So, Toad is lucky for me, I think. I feel like Toad's my guy. Toad has my back. Anyway, um, we're going to be seeing a lot of star pipe usage in this turn, for sure. If I can get less than a 5, I can show off something cool. Because it, um, there's, a, there's an item that appears in the shop in the last 5 turns. And uh, that's going to be happening next turn. So if I get less than a 5 and I don't pass that item shop down there, I can do something pretty cool. And I'm hoping that'll happen. Anyway, the next musical note is right behind me. Sad face. All the set. Actually, it wouldn't matter anyway, because the Yoshi's gonna use the star pipe anyway, so... In the end, doesn't really matter. Anyways, poor Daisy's still in last place. Gotta feel bad for her. She's not been having a very good game, despite her being a dick in minigames. So I guess, like, Peach is the one who's lucky on the board, but bad in minigames, and then Daisy's the one who's bad on the board, but lucky in minigames? Is that how it works? I don't know. Daisy never seems to get as much flack at being a, a jerk in Mario Party as Peach does. Because we saw Peach... She just pretty much wasted her turn, that's really funny. She went nowhere that turn. That That's actually pretty funny. Anyways, Yoshi's gonna get the star, obviously, using a star pipe. Dirty little scoundrel. But that's okay. Um, I'm still two stars up on him, so... Uh, I'm not too worried. Not even mad. I'm not even mad. And the next star is going to appear down there, hopefully. It did! Excellent, because that's exactly where I want to go. Although, although, Yoshi could probably get this turn as well. No, he didn't actually get a high enough roll for it. So, if I get a high roll, I get the star. If I get a low roll, I can, I can show off something cool. It's a win-win for me, really. I'm kind of hoping for the low roll, actually. I want to show off that, that thing if I can. So, low roll! That's perfect! That is absolutely perfect. So look at this. I can go right here. And then next turn... Oh, look at that! Hey! I forgot there's a coin swap hex there! Well, look at that! I just get some extra coins, too! I, I kind of looked before I leaped, but, uh... It worked in my favor, because I just gained 40 coins! <laughs> then I screwed Daisy o more, even more over! That makes me really happy. Anyways... Uh, we've done all these games, unfortunately. Again?! We just did this game! We just did this game! Sometimes it's weird. Whatever. Maybe I can actually do this one correctly. So A... Okay, I gotta remember it's A to do that one. And then... Okay. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can just not be stupid. Okay, this is an A one. I wasn't sure. I had to ask. I had to wait for Yoshi to see first. This is a Y one. Okay. We, got it. we can do this. We can do this. Except we're kind of losing right now. But A... Ugh, come on! Why are they still, they're still so far ahead? Come on! Man, I did that one perfectly and they still beat me. Because I had that moment of hesitation because I could, because I, I had to think for a second there. It is really hard to beat the computers in that one, for sure. That is definitely one of my weaker minigames. Oh well, not the end of the world. 